Welcome back to the channel guys, it is me, AD Summerfall for Extra. Today we'll be ranking all the Total Drama Island characters from Season 1. Now remember, this is just Season 1. I'm not going to with go with overall rankings. I just want to make that clear now that this is just by Season 1. And we're going to go by eliminating characters first. So who got eliminated first, and then we'll go all the way down to the end. I believe I have the elimination order set. I mean, we're actually, we'll just go with the order just set out here, actually. We'll just do it that way. Um, I believe that is alphabetical order. Uh, whatever. You know, like I said, it doesn't really matter. And so, yeah, let's go let's get started. Chris McClain. Uh, season 1. He was amazing. He was amazing. And for me, he was one of the best parts of Season 1. I really enjoyed this Chris adaption we got in Season 1. Is that it's really refreshing. Because, dude, the later seasons, it got really, really annoying. So, for me, I'm going to put Chris in actually the GOAT category. Which might be, uh, might be a bit weird to say. But, yeah. Uh, Beth, for me, uh, yeah, she was meh. I mean, she did stood up to Heather, which was pretty nice and all, but really, all honesty, there isn't really anything memorable with her. And so, yeah, for me, it's a meh average. Next is Bridget. Uh, Bridget, for me, yeah, kind of on the same category as Beth in some ways. I will say this, though. She did, I did like Bridget more than Beth, I will say. So, if I did put Bridget in the meh category, it will be above. Um, so, I'm debating between good or bad. I will say for now, I'll put her just about... <sighs> I'll put her in the bad category, but it's just about. Just about misses off the good. Just about. I, I just think for me, there wasn't anything like standout moments in particular with Bridget in Season 1. So, that's why I cannot really put her in the good category, per se. Next with Cody... He's pretty much the same um, as Beth and Bridget. Pretty much the same, you know, not really anything too special. So, yeah, I'm going to put him, and I'll, I'll put him, I, I, I'll put him in, I guess, below Beth, I guess, just because Cody didn't really have any standout moments. DJ, I thought he was good. I thought he was good. Uh, like I said, not really too much to say. Nice guy in general, you know, he was he was good, you know. So, yeah, I'll put him in the good category. Uh, Chef, um, I thought Chef was, I thought, I actually like Chef a lot. I think he is a good co-host. And I really liked when some of the challenges he hosted. I just can't put him in the GOAT category just because he didn't co uh, host enough episodes. And I didn't think he was that amazing. But I would say he was generally pretty good. So I'm going to actually put him in the great category. The next up is Eva. Uh, Eva for me is another man. I mean, I'm sorry. She just wasn't that great. So um, I'll put her below Cody. I mean, really, in honesty, there isn't anything memorable with her. Ezekiel, pretty much the same. Not really anything to say. Homeschool boy. I did feel bad for him in the first season, uh, somewhat, um, and yeah, so, actually, to be fair, I think this one, he deservedly got eliminated, this one, I, I can agree with, which we'll get up to season three at a later time, maybe in the coming weeks, okay, Jeff, I will say he is, um, I'll say good, but it's just about on the precedence, because I will say he, he was pretty good, I'd say, I enjoyed Jeff. But the thing with Jeff is that he's not really anything too special. Like, there isn't anything, like, remarking characteristics with him. He's just a nice person, and he's just a party dude, man. Like, that, that's all there really is to him. And there's not the that's extravagant with him in Season 1. Season 2, we'll, we'll get on to another video episode. I mean, another video, sorry. Uh, next is Harold. I thought Harold was good in Season 1. Um, he was great. Actually, I think great's a bit of a stretch, but I will say he was generally pretty good. So I'm going to put Harold... The good category. Just about misses off the great. Heather was fantastic. Obviously, Heather was the reason why Twelve Island is as crazy as it is. She made so much drama. And, of course, I have to put her in the GOAT category. Uh, she's got to have to be there, of course. Uh, Izzy. Uh, Izzy, for me... Um, I'll say Izzy was generally good, but not anything too extravagant. So, I'll say just about in the good category uh i'll put her below jeff i guess actually i'll put her above jeff i'll put her above jeff justin pretty much in the bad category don't really have an opinion on him he was just there uh uh you know i kind of did feel bad for him and yeah uh katie and uh, katie uh pretty much in the bad category as well don't really have an opinion on her so uh there you go i'll put her i'll put her below eva owen owen was fantastic i loved owen season one i thought he was amazing um, I don't I don't really quite resonate with Owen that much. I don't really think he's that amazing of a character, but I really l like him in World Island. And so I think at Island, he did a pretty good job. And so, yeah, I'll put him in the great category. I'll put him in the great. I'll put him just above Chef. Uh, Sadie, pretty much the same as Katie. Not really much difference. 
Courtney. Uh, Courtney was pretty good in season one, I gotta say. I enjoyed Courtney, so I'll put her in... I'll put her above DJ. I thought she was pretty good. Duncan, of course, was amazing. Duncan, what is there to say? This guy was brilliant as an anti-hero. This guy was kind of about tricks and stuff like that. Fantastic. Gwen, fantastic. She was amazing in Island. Um, I really loved her in season one. And yeah, she's, uh, she was amazing in season one. Uh, Lashana, another amazing character. I wouldn't put her in the GOAT category. Um, I will put her in the great category, though, because she was amazing. Um, and just, yeah, I just don't really have the personal thing. But yeah, for me, Lashana, for me, I will put her in the... Oh, what am I doing? Um, there we go. Sorry, I messed up there. Hopefully I can fix that. Okay, let me fix that here. I gotta do it from here. So, Lashana, right there. I'll put her... Actually, I'll put her below Owen. Okay, next up is Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, for me... Yeah, she was pretty good. Uh, she was pretty good at oh, Island. I, I liked when she stood up to Heather. That was amazing. And she was cursing her out. And she, you know, she really helped Heather a lot, so... I'll put her in the great category just below uh, Lashana. So let me make sure I don't make that mistake again. We'll put it right here. Trent, uh, pretty much in the bad category. I'll put him just below Bridget, I guess. Yeah, don't really have much to say. He was just, he's just a nice person. And then Trent, Tyler, of course, in the bad category as well. Don't really have a lot to say on Tyler. The sports jock, of course. So these are my finalized characters. So I'd say it's a pretty good list. I'm generally neutral for most of the characters in Island. Uh, per se, uh, and yeah, the characters I really, really do love, those are my, st I, I think it's a pretty good list, so I want you guys to comment down below, what are your character rankings for Total Drama Island, and you know what, maybe we should look at the community rank real quick, just, just for, uh, just for, uh, just for fun's sake, you know, let's just look at this real quick, so, let me see what I just find, well, let's just compare one real quick, so, uh, I mean, that's a bit harsh, uh, I mean, okay, we got some aligned, uh, yeah, that, that's an interesting list, interesting list. I'm surprised they only have one good character. That, that's kind of crazy. And a lot of trash characters, which is a bit harsh, but yeah. It is what it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much my opinion on Total Drama Island. I hope you guys did enjoy. And maybe next week, if you guys want, we can do a Total Drama action. So if you made it this far, please consider that subscribe, hitting that subscribe button. Hit the like, like button as well. Check out my mode, the pop the description below. And also, please check out my main channel, works. I cover uh, football there on my main channel. This is, of course extra so this is like anything non-football related so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys later peace out